Eddie, another bad night for Newcastle United. 4-2 defeat at Anfield. Do you think the Saudis could press the panic button soon? Look, um, I've got great faith that the um, the Saudis will not overreact to what's going on at the moment on the pitch. Um, but um, I've got a feeling that they're, they're a little bit angry. Uh, this morning they they turned up to the training ground and, and they've arrested Claire Balding um, for crimes against football uh, and haircuts. And um, unfortunately Claire has been sentenced to uh, death, um, capital punishment, because in her contract, uh, if she didn't play well in, in one game, um, they would chop her head off, and she signed it. Um, you know, that's how desperate she was to leave Everton, I can understand that. Um, but the great news is that when they put her head into the guillotine, um, it's an extremely large head that Claire Balding has. Uh, unfortunately, it's not been able to fit in, uh, so phew, thank goodness for that. But um, everyone knows that it's going to be my head on the chopping block next, definitely. Let's be honest, Eddie. Liverpool had 136% possession. Nunes could have scored 50 goals on his own, Eddie. Yeah, look, um, to be honest with you, I, th I felt as though we were the better team. Um, Liverpool only had uh, 57 shots um, on target. Um, 64 of them uh, were actually Darwin Nunes, and um, 113 of them shots ended up in my back garden. Um, so, yeah, um, but w we were very unlucky not to win the game. You have some extremely tough games coming up against Villa and City. Newcastle are losing far too many games, Eddie. Yeah, look, um, I have tried for a long time um, to get rid of Tyndall. Um, he doesn't actually work for Newcastle United. Um, I've spoke to the police about this guy who stalks me, um, tried to get an injunction against him, but they just won't help me. Um, you know, I go to the touchline, he's there. You know, I go to the shops, Tyndall's there. Um, I, I go to the toilet, he's there with a bog roll, wants to wipe my bum, it's just so uncomfortable. And um, last night he took it a step too far uh, when I got into bed with the wife and there's Tyndall. And it's like, get a life, Tyndall, just get a life. Well, look, there is speculation that you could be sacked very soon. Are you seeing the signs that change is coming, Eddie? Look, I think things will be okay. Uh, there's a couple of signs that, you know, they're looking to make a change. Um, just with the Saudi man who walked up to me, held me at gunpoint uh, with a one-way ticket to Bournemouth and said, leave or die. Uh, and then when I tried to get in the office, there was a sign uh, saying Deserby's office and uh, a tiny little Italian man uh, sitting behind my desk. So there are signs that they do want to get rid of me at the moment, yeah.